most popular questions I get whenever I'm teaching Lightroom Mobile is what's going on? Where are these photos? Where, where are they stored? Where are they kept? Um, how are they backed up? What's, what's going on? So here's the first thing that I'll tell you. If you're in Lightroom Mobile, all right, and you're looking at a photo anywhere here inside of Lightroom Mobile, any collection, Lightroom photos, wherever, the first thing to know is that photo is being backed up to the cloud. All right, that photo is being backed up to the Adobe cloud. The mystical, the invisible cloud that's up there in the sky, it's there. The question that always follows that is, well, how much space do I get? This is as of December, 2016. I don't even know if I'm supposed to say this, but I'm gonna say it, is it, there is no space limit right now. So if you go to the Adobe website and you try to look for a space limit for, for Lightroom Mobile, um, you're, you're not gonna find one. So there is no storage space limit. now. I would not bet the farm on that and I would not start dumping everything in the Lightroom Mobile thinking you can back up all your photos this way. Um, I, I would have to imagine this is gonna change as time goes on. Maybe it doesn't, I have no idea. I'm just telling you that right now you don't have to worry about a space requirement. Where you're really gonna come up to a space requirement is gonna be the size of your phone. How much photos can you uh, include on your phone there? So just remember, if you're looking at it here, it is being backed up to the cloud. All right, no matter what, if the photo got into Lightroom Mobile, no matter how it got in there, if it got in there because you tapped on the little camera and you took a picture, if it got in there because you tapped on the camera roll down here at the bottom and you added photos in there from the camera roll, if they're here, they're being backed up. Now just remember this also, if you did come down here to the camera roll and you added photos, they're different from what's on your camera roll. All right, so here's where we start. Let's start talking about, I think the most important thing, like what happens if we start deleting things? So let's take this one step at a time. I'm gonna click, tap on Lightroom Photos. I'm gonna tap on a photo and I'm gonna tap on the, the three little dots up in the top right corner there. I'm gonna choose Remove. And it, it tells you the photo will be removed from Lightroom Photos and any corresponding collection. This is equivalent to you having your hard drive plugged into the Lightroom on a desktop. This is equivalent to you going to the folder and hitting delete. You're deleting this photo forever. It's gonna be gone, all right? Now, the tricky part is, is if it came in from the camera roll, it actually still is on your phone's camera roll, all right? Because you're, you're, you, you made a copy of it when you brought it into Lightroom Mobile. So it still exists on the phone's camera roll, but it's gone from the Lightroom world, deleted. Cancel out of that one. Now, just like your computers, your Lightroom on the desktop, just like the way Lightroom on the desktop works, if I go into a collection and I tap on a photo that's in a collection and I tap on that thing up in the top right corner and I choose remove, the photo will be removed from the collection, but it's not being removed from Lightroom photos, which again, we're kind of equating to the hard drive, all right? so. It's removed from the collection. You're not gonna see it. It's not gonna be synced back and forth anymore with your collections on all your different devices, but the photo still will exist back here in the Lightroom Photos folder that's there at the top, all right? So it is, it's a lot like your desktop if you just stop and think about it that way. Think of the Lightroom Photos folder as your hard drive. The Lightroom Mobile is your hard drive. If you remove a photo from there, you're deleting it from your hard drive, all right? If you remove it from a collection, you're just removing it from the collection because the collection was never, never, the collection was just a reference to that photo, okay? And the only other thing that gets a little tricky is if it did come from the camera roll, then it still exists on the camera roll. If it came because you initiated it here with the camera inside a Lightroom or the photo only exists here inside a Lightroom, then you are deleting it. Okay. So that takes care of the phone. Now let's jump over here to the desktop. So we've got our collection over here. First and most important thing to, to remember is that these photos are actually physically on your computer right now. All right, they physically exist on your computer. We know this photo exists on our computer because in the last video, this photo came from the folder that my, you know, my hard drive, my desktop had attached to it, this photo came from inside of there and I just shared it into that Lightroom Mobile collection. So then it showed up over on my phone. So we know that this photo exists somewhere. It exists in my Iceland folder, my storage organizational system. But the other stuff, it's, it starts to get a little hairy. Like, all right, well, I never put them onto my desktop. So I never put them on my hard drive. Where are they going? Well, by default, if you right click on it, 
you can choose show in Finder. And it's gonna show a Finder window that's gonna pop up and show you some obscure folder. You can see there's the name of the folder right up there at the top. Some obscure folder, if I go up a level, you'll see there's even more obscure folders inside of there. But these actually physically do exist on your desktop. The higher I go up, the more of them it goes into the Lightroom folder and you'll see them there. So they do indeed exist on your desktop. Um, they're there, they're permanently there, they're copied there, unless you go ahead and you delete them or something like that, they're, they're gonna be on your desktop. Now, what I would suggest is if you come up here to your preferences, and it's gonna be under an edit menu on a PC, if you go up to your Lightroom preferences, uh, you go over here to the Lightroom mobile tab, you can actually tell Lightroom and specify a location for the photos that come from Lightroom Mobile. So if I turn that on, then I can specify locations under whatever folder that I want on my computer. So, and I would go turn on that, just, just so you get rid of those obscure folders and at least you know your phone photos are going into a certain place that, that you're, you're more likely to go look for them. The other thing that I would say is that, so remember, I, I have, we had two parts of this trip and that's really what we're trying to do. We're trying to bring both of the worlds together. We're trying to bring our mobile cell phone world together and our computer world and our DSLR or whatever camera we're shooting with. We're trying to bring these together. Well, on the computer, I created my Iceland folder. That's on my hard drive. That's where I dumped my, uh, my memory cards from my Sony. Everything went on there. Those are, you know, considered, I, you know, as, again, call it the big boy camera, but they're considered like my prized photos, right? But that doesn't mean I don't have some really good mobile photos that I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose the pictures of my wife and I at these places. Um, I don't want to lose a lot. I take a lot of, I think, some really solid photos with the cell phone as well, and I don't want to lose those. One of the things you can do is we come down here, we go to our collection, and so I can click and take these photos from the collection, and then I can just drag them right over into my folder. And that way, I'm actually moving them from that obscure location that they were wherever my computer, wherever Lightroom decided to put them. I'm actually moving them into my official Iceland folder. This is my official folder on my official hard drive. And I know that you know with my system, my hard drives get backed up. So now what I'm saying is, is hey, I care about these photos. I want them in with my Iceland trip from my other camera. And I wanna make sure this now goes into my backup system. All right, I've got another hard drive. I make sure they're always mirrored together. Um, you know, again, the, that whole system starts to build from there, kind of separate from Lightroom Mobile itself. But you can bring this back into your normal system. All right, there's no reason that these photos have to stay separate. Go ahead and just place them into that same folder, and that way, whatever photos, no matter where they are, no matter what device that they came from, you always know that hey, you know, I took a trip with my wife to Iceland. And all of my good photos from that trip are now in this folder. They're backed up. They're safe and sound. And just as importantly, I've got a nice place inside here, inside of Lightroom, to be able to share these back and forth. So I know I'm always going to be able to get to my favorite ones.